Show you the uh, size of this club. There's the entrance road down here. We got a pavilion. That's Billy's uh, rig. It's a big truck. It's a, uh, I think it's a 24 or 26 foot trailer. Don't remember. Mark, what have you been up to? As little as I can get by with. <laughs> what have you been up to? Well, I was out here all day yesterday. You flying? Yeah. What'd you fly? Uh, blazing. Oh, you give up your helicopter? No, I, I still have been flying them right to the house. Okay. <laughs> hey, we just had our helicopter fly in out here. Yeah. Hey, Leland ain't talked to you in forever. I'm sitting here beside a Nelson hole. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Hey there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're up here at the Rams Club up towards Winston Salem. Got a friend of mine from our flying club trying to get signed off his AMA waiver. He's got a 60% Bill Hempel X260. Yeah. It's got a 440 something CC gas in four cylinder. This thing's big. big. It's almost big enough I could sit in it and fly. <laughs> You're right. It's pretty damn big. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. No, you said he ain't still got that thing. <laughs> yeah, give it hail. So Billy, explain all this to me. What are you flying today? It's a 60% uh, Bill Hempel Extra 260. Now Bill Hempel's the guy that designed it? Yeah, it's the company. Okay. It's ARF. So. What's ARS? ARF. Almost ready to fly. Oh, ARF. Okay. You know that one. Okay. <laughs> I thought you said S, not F. No, no, sir. sir. Um, but 15 foot wingspan, 14 feet long, weighs 107 pounds. <laughs> Um, it's got a uh, four-cylinder, 420cc engine in it. And, uh, How many horsepower? I, I think it's 35, might be 32, 32, 35 horsepower, something like that. Hmm. We'd have to look at it. And what are you putting in it for fuel? Uh, it's a uh, 40 to 1 regular gas and oil, like your weed eater. So it's a two-stroke? Two-stroke. Okay. Yep. And is it, um, it's got batteries, I assume, for the receiver? Yeah, there's four, everything's redundant, so I got double everything. So uh, it's got four receiver packs and two ignition packs. So. And how big are the ignition packs? 3,000 milliamp, 6.6 uh, .6 volt, the Li Fi. Same with the, uh, the uh, receiver pack. So that's what's running your servos? Yeah. Yeah, four, you're right here, four of them. Yeah, I wanted to get a little look at that, um, that series setup you have on your <laughs> rudder. There's four servos there? How many? Five. Five, five servos. Okay. Total of 78 foot pound of torque. <laughs> and redundancy, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, half of them are on one uh, receiver and the other, and three of them are on the other receiver. Oh, Lordy. So hopefully we won't lose anything, but if we did, we should be able to limp it back. Yeah. And this is your second go around at your qualifications. Why was that? Yeah, the Cowling had a uh, ri a uh, a uh, what would you call it? a rib around it that was wood that broke in the first one. Mm -hmm. But I put a steel one in it this time, huh. so we won't have that problem. Hopefully, hopefully we don't. So that happened in the air, did in it? In the air, and we couldn't tell. You know, you couldn't tell until it landed. You know, so. But that stopped you. You have to make two consecutive flights without With no an issue. Yeah. So that stopped that process. Yeah, that was three months ago. I hadn't had been able to make it back. <laughs> and who is your um, your qualifier? Nelson. Nelson. Okay. I don't know his last name. So. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll find out. How many uh, pints are you putting in, or quarts, whatever? 
I'm going to have a gallon total. And that will keep you up how long, do you know? Well, we were up about eight minutes before and we used like a quarter tank, so. Woo! Really should have plenty. <laughs> plenty. I know. I put a muffler on it that I made since last time. Put baffling so we can get all the cooling in the front since last time, different prop size. And I put it, bigger arms on the servos. I didn't have enough rudder authority. Now, you, you talked about that prop. Um, what size is it? That's a 40 inch by 14 pitch. The Ooh. last one was a 40 by 18. And it's wooden. This one's wood. The other one was carbon, but it just, it was too much for the engine. Too much pitch? Yeah, okay. I think so. Even though it recommended it, it was too much. Yep. <laughs> you get a little nervous? <laughs> I gotta get uh, Billy's assistant on camera here. How you doing, Chris? Outstanding. You're looking fine. Thanks. Yeah, that was a good rest you had in the truck. <laughs> Take it when you can get it, right? Yeah, we got Mr. Mr. McFueler over there. And you, could you gentlemen introduce yourself? I'm a Nelson Hole. You're, you are the boss here, I understand. I'm the inspector. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And your friend? That's my uncle. I'm Morris Hole. Hello, Morris. Hey. I'm Lonnie. I, uh, I take pictures. I wish I had the plane getting so much power that it just sweeps me from underneath. Uh, that can happen. What are you looking for under there, Billy? See if I got fuel up yet. Oh. This one likes to be really wet. Does it have an electric pump in it? No. It's just gravity? No, yeah. it's a... It's, it's a got a diaphragm. Diaphragm, yeah. Whenever you flip the motor, the oh, diaphragm yeah. pump's pumping fuel. There we go. Just right. with that little bit of pump? Oh, yeah. yeah. Ignition's right. hot. Ignition is hot. And hot. Remember your fingers. Get them out of there. We're going to pop it, and then i got to turn the choke off. Okay. <laughs> nice, yeah. nice, nice, nice. And that's a four cylinder. Yeah. You must be exceptionally strong. How much time do you have to spend in the air to satisfy the inspector? It says eight minutes. I'm not going to do it. How does it feel compared to last time? 100 percent better. Everything is good. I saw you didn't hesitate to do a little bit of 3D. <laughs> The only thing I'm concerned with is the idle. Seems a little weird. I love that sound, Billy. You did a nice job of that muffler, too. Oh, there's your idle, okay. <laughs> How far vertical will it go, Billy? <laughs> I don't know. It seemed to keep going.
You got some covering come loose? Yeah, on the bottom. You can't see it in the camera. Hey, you got something on your belly coming loose, Monaco or something? Yeah, something flew off over there. Yeah. You got tape? I got tape. Slows down nicely too. Yeah, you can see it now. You out? I'm out of tape. Oh shit. <laughs> You got another roll? No, sir. It's not crazy. All right. Put you got gum in the truck. Yeah. That's my receiver is what I'm worried about. All right. So you said just a lap and land it, right? Let's oh, get yeah. this wheel fixed. Right? What's that hangy down thing, Bill, right there? Uh, that's for batteries if I wanted to put them in the back for a CG. Okay. Thing. So it's just servo lead. We have an open frame. There she pops. Yeah, they squished out good, Billy. Always land both sides there, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's out again, Bill. That wheel is out again. Congratulations, boy.